Oh, Alright, so it's another wonderful episode on this ep Let's Play for Ravalcraft. And um, we're stuck in here. I did see a chest in here that I want to go through before. But unfortunately, if my axe doesn't break here, there appears to be a bit of a problem. This chest is trapped. Let me take this. Yeah, my axe is broken now, but we've removed the TNT. And, oh, of course, there's nothing in the chest. How, how wonderful, but we have TNT now. Um, let me, there's a crafting table down here. I can make myself an axe. Let me just quickly do that. And I'm going to put the trash, my trash inside of these chests. Alright, so we'll put the gold nuggets in there for now. I'll put the TNT in there as well. I might as well put the bomb flesh in there, we're going to need a use for it right now. Oh yeah, I'll take the redstone lamp. I'm also going to take these daylight sensors because I want to build them in our place that we're building. Um, where is it? Over here. So I'm going to have them as moonlight sensors as well because that seems the most, well you could say, logical version of them. Oh goodness. Actually, I'll take the logs because we're going to need that for building material and I've got a lot of planks as you can see in my inventory. So what we were doing last time is we're just filling this in. Oh, we have potatoes here. I might as well just take them quickly so that we can regrow them later. Beetroot seeds. Where did that come from? I don't think I had beetroot actually. Um, what can we remove in our inventory? There's some gunpowder. We might need that soon. Oh yeah, we have extra dirt. We'll be using the dirt up anyway. Oh yeah, we need to also fill this in so nothing spawns. Now I can pick the dirt up. We don't need wheat. What's this? Oh, beetroot. Okay, we can take that. Not entirely sure what we could do with beetroot, but let's see. We can make red, rose red. We can make beetroot juice. Oh, we can make plant treats. And it's a cheap thing to use as well. Iron fishing rod. Wooden fishing rod. And what's this at the back? Bait bucket. Oh, so it's considered bait. Beetroot seeds is also bait as well. And we can cook them to roasted seeds. Okay, good. Oh, you're in the way. Bye, pig. I don't need the raw pork chop. I just want the XP for now. Actually, talking about XP, we don't... We need to add more to our defense. But... Oh, is there structure integrity in this? So I can see it. Um, it's kind of like got particles coming out of it. Which doesn't seem that very safe. Oh, I did pick it up eventually anyway. And our dirt has almost run out now. Okay, that's the part that we're going to stop adding more dirt. So everything can be more leveled. Even though I'm pretty sure I did the wrong height. I could have built stairs and done it a lot less, but I guess it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter. As long as we can build our house quickly enough before it gets too dangerous. So it's day seven. I've not actually seen any birds, but I'm hoping I'm not jinxing it. So you can hear them, I've just not seen any of them just yet. So right now we're pretty safe. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, that's most of this one done. We can actually insert a farm next to my house as like an extension so that we can like build much faster. We also need ourselves a, a bucket and I think we can make ceramic... We can make ceramic buckets. Awesome. But we, we can't craft a clay bucket, can we? Anymore. Oh, that's so bad. So I guess it just doesn't have a recipe anymore. Let me just put, pop that in there. We need more dirt so we can just remove... Actually, this is too big right now. We can probably keep that form. I'll just change what it looks like. 
I want everything to be very compact though, so everything's very close together in the village so that we can get amenities without being attacked. And if we do get attacked, the Aegis can sort everything out. And it also means that it's a bit more... And it despawned. Wonderful. I don't think I was going to attack it anyway. I think it just saw me and was like, yeah, nope. <laughs> like, in a bad way towards me. Um, but anyway, let's go take everything here. We're going to use the gravel as like a form of filler as well. Actually, I have some, don't I? Nope. Oh, I have 64. I can't get more. Might as well just stop placing these. I'm going to use barrels a lot for the farm. It just seems like the most logical thing. Okay, now fill up this in. There we go. Actually, I'll take the flowers, we need them, so that we can grow the, um... We're gonna grow the... a uh, thing so that we can spawn nymphs in more often. So, for like, here. It's gonna be a longer house. I guess you could say it's a long house. We're not gonna make the low stone, because it's a waste. That's nice. And then I'm going to place one here and one here. So I'm going to place torches on the inside and outside of these buildings. I have glass somewhere, I can't remember where I put it. But I'm going to make some glass panes for this building so it looks nice. Use up this. And over here. We have some wooden stairs for now. So we can kind of do something like that, but I want to save the amount of wood we have. So I'm just going to use slabs for the top. Or normal oak. It's gonna look ugly from the sky, but we're not gonna see it from the sky. I think I can actually pick up the rest of the dirt. I'm not gonna fill that part in just yet so that I can be able to jump down easily. Let's fill that in. Oh, some parts haven't been filled in. Alright, let's jump, put, pop these here. There we go, break that, break that. We're going to remove the water as well because they spawn things occasionally. And the water can be a bit dangerous. Actually, I could make a water spawner when we do get quite powerful. But for now, we can ignore that. I'm going to take the greenhouse glass from over there as well. Oh, there's a wolf here. Oh, it's, yeah, it's called a wolf. I'm going to kill that thing over there as well when it gets annoying. You know what? It's going to be easier just to jump in the house. Oh, it has cauldrons too. We can steal that. Oh yeah, this is the same house I took from, right? Yep, it is, okay. How do we make a moonlight sensor? Daylight, actually. Daylight detector, quartz, glass, and oak slabs. So I want to have these more often in the village. Um, basically, where I'm going to put them is... So we can have a fence like this. We won't need those torches if we place... Can I walk underneath that? Yep, okay, good. And then we have not a daylight sensor there, but we just need to save our torches, never mind. I can't get in. So let me just redesign this part to have it like this. Remove that. Actually, I can use up my stone bricks. I have them again. Oh, goodness. Right, can I take the stone bricks first? Place that the take the string. Okay, good. Oh, it's five o'clock. I also need to get myself a um a door. Okay. Let me just put some trash in here. That we can put the poppies in there for now. Can I sleep yet? Nope. At 7 o'clock, it is when it's night. And we're building our place with scrap materials, pretty much. Let's see what quests we have. Diamond battle axe required. Last dawn kills. Pinky. Blowfish electric eel. Capitaine. 
Ice Dragon Heart, Spectre Kills, Ice Iron Katana, Iron Lance, Diamond Quarter Stuff, Slate Wither Skeleton Kills, Raikou Kills, Sidontis, Apple, Witch Kills, and Red Rock. We don't have any of them. Might just be more safe to walk on the roof. Oh, there's one there as well. Trying to jump up here, okay good. We have the daylight sensors, let me turn it into a moonlight sensor here. Good. So it is technically night, we can use that to find out when it's night as well. There we go. We don't have a bed, but we can sleep in here again. Great. I hope a reaper didn't spawn. But yeah, great. So we're gonna move this bed into my house. Well, technically new house. We can actually take those chests as well. One, there's one in here as well. Oh yeah, I kind of did put my stuff in there. Let me put the barrel in there. Poppy and the gunpowder, there we go. I'll put the Aether, whatever you call that, in there as well. Let's head out to our thingy and put our chest in here. Put the chest on this side and the bed on this side. So as soon as I walk in, I can close the door, rest, and get everything done with. We'll need to get furnaces, but our building isn't that big just yet. We also need to level this land, so we need to use a crafting table to make ourselves a spade. We'll make two spades, actually. That'll work, actually. Up here, let me take the normal wood. So level this pot out so that we can build ourselves the pathway. I'm hoping that villagers can walk through one by one, I mean one with paths though. Not entirely sure, but we'll find out soon enough. I'm going to make a mine as well into one of the mountains and we're going to take all the stone in there. Oh, dirt there as well, good. We can put the rocks in here, that in there. We can put a lot of our trash in there for now just to clear up some of our inventory space that we really, really need. Oh, there's a nymph, actually. I'm all healed up, though. I think it's almost summer, which is why it's super hot. Um, let's go down here. I'm going to start breaking this place again. And we just need to keep building and building, and then we're going to be done. I'm not going to pause the video just in case I die, though. So it's always fun when something like comes out of the blue and tries to murder me. Though I'm getting a lot better, it's the 8th day, there's something going to spawn here. Let me just get back. Oh my god, nothing spawned! Oh my god! Is that going to stay rooted? Nope. Oh, the, the logs fell down though. It'd be interesting if they added a creature that spawns in the dirt though. I keep hearing this bird. But it just turns out there's no birds actually appearing. We'll explore those caves as well, there might be some iron. Right now it's the best thing to make our house. And then go mining later because it's very dangerous when you go mining. I'm also going to probably try and make a dragon proof roof for the village. So basically the whole place will be indoors. Do you know how much damage a dragon can do and I'm hoping none of them come over here to this area. Though the loot's nice, we're not particularly fond of hunting them right now. I have more inventory space for the dirt. Mine up the stone as well with the wooden pickaxe just to use it up. Now I'm gonna go grab that coal and I wanna flatten the mountain over there as well. It's gonna be a huge logistical thing to do, but it'll supply us with like a lot of resources to keep building and building more villages. And we need to also make ourselves a sheep farm soon. I did see two sheep on one of the mountains, so we can probably hurt that. I know they despawn, so we're gonna need to get some name tags for them. But as soon as we get that going... Oh, it's a dark nymph, okay good. I thought that was a dangerous creature. 
And let's go grab everything here. Take that. Okay, I didn't fall. And the villagers are going to be a lot more safer if they don't keep like walking off the paths and everything. As long as they can get into the houses that I'm building. Or maybe they're disappearing slowly because of me. I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing, but hopefully we can just consolidate our power. Got one villager here. Toolsmith, the same one, but that might be a nice spade, but I need gathering eight for that. Oh, it's getting hot. Water's going to be nice for that. Ouch. For now, though, we don't need to go in the water. Oh, dog's in the way. Okay, good, you ran off. We can build on both ways, because I know we're going to need both sides, actually. I'm just going to build on top of that. Whatever. <laughs> um, do this. Do that. And soon I'm, I want to go find a dungeon or whatever I want. I want to just kill loads of things. I feel like that right now. I know it's like knights, but I feel like because I'm more experienced at this because of like playing this mod pack for a bit. What's that over the horse? I feel like I can go and get myself into a more riskier challenges. Oh, maybe I don't have enough dirt for this. I might, and like when I finish making this whole village place or like something, I could like see if I can get a minimap mod just so I can see what it looks like on the map. Well, actually, no, there's map items in this game, I forget. Oh, that's filled up. I don't have enough space. There's some I can take here. We are going to be removing all this dirt anyway, so might as well take it. There we go. Actually, looking like looking down at that, might be a good idea if we start to build stairs. But having everything on a controlled elevation means I can move house each time it gets dark. I mean, like cold or dark or. You know, all the environmental problems, so I think I will start doing that, but I do want to destroy that. We'll level this part over here, because this part might be impossible to do it. But I'm just going to use a lot of stairs. Cobblestone stairs probably at the start, but then I'll start moving on to wooden st no, stone slabs. And we'll need to find out how we make things dragon proof. So we do not want to get destroyed by a dragon at the start of the game. Again. When I made this world, I got killed by a dragon. Wasn't nice experience. Was not a nice experience. But we want to avoid that for our village that we're building. And I think they do like going to villagers. To burn them up. So we're going to cut up some parts of the village. Cover it up have some form of obsidian guard as the roof thing when I can get obsidian fast I wonder if this is like if there's any better pickaxes so they have neptunian pickaxe which is is it better than no all right anything better than mining 16 so diamond is the best it seems oh never mind dragon bone pickaxe we're gonna have to kill dragons for that yeah I could probably start hunting dragons near the end of this season Every season pretty much on this episode and like this let's play is basically going to be for um, restarting the game when I get a lot better when I get fed up so like a few month break from RLCraft and then I go back to RLCraft with all the new experience I have and see how far I can go faster and especially we're going to do that if RLCraft has new updates which it did which is why I restarted this playthrough. Even though like the last update it had was a quality of life update. Not very noticeable, but it makes everything a lot more nicer to play through, actually. There's an info that might be able to cure my broken feet. Oh, hello. Come over here. I can just go here. We'll probably trap these or make a nymph farm. I'm also curious about what they draw. There we go. We'll take the rest of this dirt as well, because we need a stack. I also probably make walls actually for the village too 
to make it aesthetically nice as well. So the walls will just make sure that anything from there can't get in. And I want to make a gate as well, like a medieval style gate. I don't know if I should keep that though. It just doesn't look in place at that position. Alright, we'll need to make a new pickaxe for that. Let me just quickly do this. So we have more cobblestone, so it takes up less space in my inventory. Alright, it's almost night. I want to continue building the thing. And I also should check the villager trades, trades as well. Hello, villager. Actually, let's check if I can pop something in there. Yep. Put the tallow in there as well. And the flowers can go there. Let's place everything over here. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll build ourselves the farm on this side. But I'm also going to make ourselves the um, the way down with stone stairs. I can probably use the coal that I got. And I'm going to probably like start breaking all those trees. Bit of deforestation. And we need to regrow some. So I'll make a tree farm somewhere. Can I not sleep right now? Oh, I can. So 6.30 might be when it goes tonight. Cake isn't a lie one, mostly. <laughs> One flesh and gold into emeralds. Okay. Maybe if I get more wealth, yeah. <laughs> but for now, we're not gonna go with those trades. I'm gonna fill this with, like, dirt, though. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna make a long house. It's gonna be a small house for now. Did I put the wood in there? Yep, okay, good. Every house is going to be small, I'm going to use every single house. I know we have item frames from like the kind of like pillage in the place earlier, so I'm going to put item frames to show which place is which. And then when we get like a map item, how do I make a map? Oh, paper and a compass. Alright, that's quite expensive for now. I think in this version you need beds instead of doors, but I'm not sure. Let's see if the stone cutters are in this. Nope. There isn't, alright, so it's doors that spawn villagers. Or make them actually, like, get together. So I think I'm gonna start building more doors. Every place should have an extra door, because why not? Alright, so let's go up here. I'm gonna make myself a door. Hmm, where should a door go? It should go on this side, actually. I need more dirt. And my... Oh, I have another spade as well. Okay, good. So I need to make myself a pickaxe for that area. And this is gonna be the last video for today. I've recorded two, three episodes and... I'm getting tired. <laughs> uh, my crafting table is over here. And every episode is like this season is going to be like half an hour long. So yeah. Alright. Oh, my white wall. I want to see if I can find that fisherman. Because I knew if the guy was over here somewhere. But he just disappeared. Oh, my god. Alright, I need to run. Get in there. I'm gonna die. Ho 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 ho. Regeneration 2, the nymph's near. Alright, let me stay here. Okay, the Aegis did not help me. Okay, the Slifes really want to take me. I'm gonna get it. Destructive actions on the elements. I can't help it if they're attacking me.
I need to protect myself from these things. I feel like the AI is much more intelligent in this version. I also need to drink some water. We've always got a dangerous creature. Level 20, dang! Okay. I'm doing it though. Goodness, I've still not died. Ow. Okay. Heal me, heal me. Good, you can't escape. You can escape from here. Never mind. Ow, 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 ow. Nymph, 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 you're over here. And I'm burning. Of course you leave me. Oh, okay. You're up there. Let me get up there. How am I gonna survive? Why you go away as soon as I come over? Come back. Come back, damn it. This is not good. Oh, the glass is stopping it from getting me. Oh my gosh. I actually got it and it dropped a gold, which is good, because I need gold. Let me go grab the stuff. Sorry villager for like, fighting on your property, but I've got to do it. I mean, I did destroy the guy's property, so... I should not apologize. Oh! What villager are you? Armour. We'll need that soon. Another cleric over there. And another one over here. More gold thing. Oh. Weaponsmith. We can probably lure these into a house. I just need to heal before I get killed again. Because my head's the one that gets damaged. Alright, there we go. Let me head back home. It's not really much of a home right now, but... I can't remember, where did I put the gold? Ah, there it is. Put the silver in there. Alright, so what was I going to make? Compass. No, what did I need gold for? I was going to make a clock, actually. Why would you have a clock now? Redstone charger, interesting. Oh, I need more gold for a clock, actually. Oh, yes, it was the backpack, actually. That's why I was going to make, because I need more inventory space. I just need leather. Alright, there was a chest or crate or whatever you call them with leather in it. Ouch. Somewhere. I'm gonna go find it. I could just use that to go up. Oh yes, two leather, good. Oh, I got a Jin Cloud. Jin Zephyr Cloud level. Used to create powerful equipment using Equipment Forge. Alright, I think we should probably be making the Equipment Forge very soon anyway. I should have probably been like locking the villagers in the place so that they can't leave. That might have been a better thing to do. Just breaking them over here, just in case something spawns. Not a good idea to break it there, though. Because it does not leave a great space to run away, actually. Let me replace these. Just needed that level. 
don't want the poisonous potato. Go away. Alright. Take that. I'll take the stone slabs as well. Oh, potatoes are there. Take the seeds so I can regrow all this. Since they level up, it'd be great to, if there was like any mechanism to help me auto farm. Alright, place everything. There we go. We don't need that poisonous potato. I'm gonna probably pop back up to my place. Put it in the chest. Make a stirs down this way as well. No, I don't need to make a chest. I have the thing here. Alright, potatoes go in there as well. Carrot there. Alright, so we are level 9. What can we put it in? We need to get defense to 8 so that we can work the iron items. Then we need to get mining to 8 as well so we can use an iron pickaxe. Once we have a, a level system where we have 8 on everything, we can continue to 16 eggs, etc. I also need to get my gathering to 8 so I can use that item that he sells. I think I'm going to go and make myself a lot of cobblestone stirs so that we can get down on both sides. I hear something running and I don't think it's a... something safe. And it's about to be in the next day so let me go grab some sleep. You're the same people but that's good because I need more villagers. Oh, yeah, I moved the bed. I'm going to build more beds for each house I build as well, just in case villagers spawn in the beds rather than the doors. Oh no. Can I sleep before it starts attacking me? Yep. There you go, go get it. Oh, that was close and awesome. What did it drop? Oh, we dropped some obsidian. So Reapers dropped that, which means that we can help. That can help us with our um, anti-dragon measures for a place that we're planning. Still out of stock. Goodness. There needs to be more doors in here. All right, I'm gonna build the stir thing, and then I'm gonna end off the episode. Oh, I need that dirt. I'm pretty sure they like me build, helping the village out though. Um, since we're gonna have like this, like so. Make stone bricks going over here. I'll need to make a stone, normal stone stairs. We can use normal cobblestone as the thing to make it go up there. So let me go do that. No one's gonna see that. Mostly. It's gonna like hide the old village though. But I do plan on removing the old village. Alright, I hope the villagers don't mind this. Alright, we're gonna have to break that because it's in the way. And I'm gonna probably just make a dent into this mountain. But I could have a like a, a feature, actually, so I can be like justify being a bit more lazier with this building. Right, let's go grab a fin, take all this. We'll fly in the land as well. Flying it up here, but then there's a problem because I want to flat. I don't want to flatten it too much. Have some coal there as well. The GNX spawn, and I remember if you saw my last playthrough, the amount of trouble those caused to me. I absolutely despise them, so we're going to avoid breaking any ores for now until like we can break them in the open. I'm going to build a massive quarry, and I'm going to build like village dens down and down so that I can gain these Aeguses that's come with me, and we can use them to kind of just kill anything that gets in the way. Got to use the advantages the game gives you. And hopefully the plan works. Oh. I didn't have to do all that. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing. And this, right now, this is a moment that I wonder what I'm doing.
All right, this is just to make it more uniform and uses less space. I want to change the um, the landscape as well, as the they go to certain parts of the village. You'll find like some houses are made of stone, etc. Different materials depending on the area, which will look very very nice. All right, how much dirt did we gain from that good twenty-seven? Let me just do it to fill up this. I'm also going to need to start filling that, but right now we won't need to do that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end off this episode now anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Have Actually, before that, I just want to get some water. Uh, anyway, see you next time. Bye.